Amagnetic means exuding an energy that naturally draws people, opportunity, and positivity towards you. It's about becoming a beacon of light and positivity, which starts from within. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to harness your inner magnificence and elevate your frequency to become truly magnetic. This is how you bring things towards you just by being your authentic, amazing self. You don't have to go out there and push to find everything. When you are in a magnetic zone, in a nice free-flowing state, things just show up for you. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned for the whole episode because at the end, I'm going to give you some tips on how to naturally become magnetic, some journal prompts. Okay, so you want to stay tuned for that. Hi, this is Stacy. Welcome to my channel, Stacy's Ascension Academy. If you like spirituality and personal development, put in one tied in with a bit of numerology because that is one of the things that I love the most. So you're going to learn a bit of that on this channel as well, too, if that sounds like something you are interested in and bridging spirituality and personal development together then this is the place for you go ahead and give me a subscribe and comment below at the end of this episode to see if this has any relation to you and if it's helped you out at all okay now let's get into it we're going to talk about okay we're going to go through eight different points to become magnetic we're going to find ways for you to draw things to you and not repel it okay it's going to start with some inner work first so the first thing is going to start with is self source you're gonna have to stop looking for validation from others for you to be truly magnetic you have to stand and let that start within stop seeking external validation and instead find your worth and value internally the episode i did before this was about the law of correspondence about how to Everything starts within you and what you see on the outside world. It's what reflects to you. So if you haven't seen that episode, I'm going to link that at the end of this video or it's always going to be in the description. You should definitely check that one out as well. Because in order for you to become magnetic, you're going to have to know within that you are the bomb, that you got it going on. You don't have to ask other people to tell you how good you are, how amazing you are. You should be saying that to yourself. That's how you manifest. You can't manifest from a source outside of yourself. It got to start within. So the first way to magnetize these things and bring it to you is connect to God, your inner self for approval. You want to connect to God. God is your only approval in this world. God, the universe, any higher force above you. This is what I mean when I say this, because this is a spiritual channel, not religious. So when I say God, I mean the all, the all knowing, the all power that governs this whole thing. Okay. So you want to connect to God, your inner self for your approval. Spiritual connection grounds you and provides the ultimate source of approval. When you engage in regular meditation or prayer and focus on, on connected with your inner self and your higher power, your higher beam, it's going to make you a lot more magnetic to the things that you want. Opportunities will come towards you more profoundly and things will start to just show up and align with you because you're connecting with source, you're connecting with God for your self-approval. That is who you should be connecting with when it comes for validation. The third thing you want to do is the higher your frequency, the more you're going to attract. Your energy frequency determines what you attract. The higher your frequency, the more you're going to attract positive experiences and people into your life. So you want to engage in activities that uplift your spirit, such as creative pursuits, exercise, and spending time with loved ones. You want to stay away from the negative Nancys, the people that are going to lower your frequency because that is not going to make you magnetic to the things you want. It's going to make you magnetic to the crap that they're pulling out of you. You're here to lift people up, not be dragged down with them. So the lower your frequency, you're going to magnetize things to you that you don't exactly want. So you want to keep it in a nice high frequency of love, positivity. I'm not saying you're not supposed to have bad days. You have your bad days and you're just going to have to accept what you magnetize to you when you're having those days. You just don't sit in it for three, four or five months because you're going to sit in a loop of magnetizing crap towards you that you don't not want. Raise your frequency. Most of the times when you're starting to stress out about things, a simple walk, a simple take the dog out for a walk, take yourself out for a walk, some kind of movement with your body and making your energy move around and not get stuck in one location is going to make you feel better. It always does. 
Trust me. It's just the motivation of saying, oh, oh I got to put on shoes and go out there and do the walk. Do the walk. It'll help you. Be creative. If there's creative things that's in you, if you're writing, if you're drawing, if you're a speaker, anything that boosts that feminine energy part of you, that creation part of you, is going to raise your vibration. I love that I'm doing this recording outside, and as I say this, I see a yellow butterfly, which is a symbol of creativity and transformation on that level. So this is... It's going to hit for who it needs to hit. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing you want to do in order to become magnetic is get happy. Learn yourself and be with yourself. Happiness is a state of being that attracts more joy and abundance into your life. Spend time doing things you love and cultivate a happy, a habit of self-reflection and gratitude. Just be happy. You can always choose to stay in a negative frame if you want, stay in the guilt, stay in the grief, stay in the fear, stay in the anger, stay in the all of those lower frequency energy that does not attract to you what you want, but repels what you want. You could stay in that energy or you could choose to aim higher, go into the higher vibration of happiness, of peace, of joy, of those higher frequencies that align more positive situations. You notice when you're in a bad mood, the universe will give you more stuff to be in a bad mood about because that's what you're magnetizing towards you. Now, when you're in a happy mood, you're in a good mood, you magnetize so much positive things towards you. Just like when you're on vacation, you, you meet people at their most happiest, authentic state. Because I say your happiest is your authentic state. All the other fear and guilt and all those kind of words that you experience once you leave vacation and you're back in the real world, it's not your authentic self. It's the lower downgraded part of you. Now, if you want to stay in your highest timeline, your highest self, you want to get happy. Find ways to make yourself happy. And if you can't make yourself happy in that moment, then honor the grief, the shame or whatever feelings that you're feeling and feel that. But like I said, you don't stay in it. You do not stay in it. A lot of people are comfortable just being in those states of anger and fear and shame. And those are their their temperatures just set at that and they don't really want to go into the happy state but if you're listening to something like this you are not one of those people <laughs> you're not trying to stay in that energy you want good things to be magnetized to you so go out there and get happy the next thing we're going to talk about is the scale of emotions the scale of emotions operates on a scale from lowest which is fear, sadness, to joy and love. Your goal is to operate on the higher end of the scale. Identify where you are on your daily scale and make a conscious effort to el um, elevate your emotions through positive actions. Take a look at the scale right here. Do you see how I was just talking about it, but this is going to bring it in even into more framework for you. There is a scale of emotions and it goes by the lower your frequency, these are the words that are going to keep you in a lower state frequency. The shame, the guilt, the apathy, the grief, the fear, desire, anger, pride. And as you look at these words, they keep going up the scale of the ladder of enlightenment and higher frequency. So you want to stay on the higher side of the scale and not the lower side of the scale. The next thing we're going to talk about is, again, on par with what we were just speaking about the lower your vibration the lower your your attraction the lower your vibrations you repel what you desire while the higher your vibrations you're going to attract what you want avoid activities and thoughts that lower your vibrations such as negative self-talk or toxic environments if you have friends that when you're around them they lower your vibration and you feel very lost and just drained when you're around them because you're consistently in the loop or whatever trauma that they're having at the moment and you're fully engaged in that and now you might have been in a higher frequency but once you got around these people now all of a sudden your frequency is lower so you want to be mindful of who you have around you the seventh thing i'm going to talk about is you want to connect with nature and like-minded people so nature and positive social interactions will naturally elevate your frequency and make things more magnetic to you spend more times outside and outdoors and seek out communities or groups that uplift and inspire you maybe you want to join a meditation group that meditates in the park every day i'm um, not every day it's absurd <laughs> but once a week like every sunday and saturday or something or maybe yoga in the park i know that's a big thing those are the kind of things you want to start to do and people you want to be around to raise your frequency or if you have another 
good habit another good hobby that you like to do may it be running maybe you want to draw a run-ins group because that's going to raise your vibration um i know back in the days, I don't know if they still do it. They used to have a uh, paint and sip. That was pretty fun, where you pay one price and you just, uh, um, by the end of the two hours, you painted a really nice portrait and you bring your own booze. So it's kind of fun. I used to enjoy that a lot. I don't know if it's still something, but if that's something that along the lines that could raise your vibration. Because even though I said it's paint and sip, so it means you bring your own alcohol, I don't believe that alcohol is going to drain your vibration there's a fine balance you drink to the point where you feel a little nice but if you're going to drink to get intoxicated to forget everything else around you then that's going to lower your vibration so know the fine balance of that the eighth thing you want to do is you definitely want to release toxic people and habits letting go of negative influences is crucial to maintaining a high vibration you want to identify and gradually distance yourself from toxic relationships and habits that drain you like gossiping and constantly seeking approval and watching the news every night that's going to be a toxic kind of habit that's going to drain and lower your vibration if you need to know you'll know but if you're in it every day and you're noticing that your frequency is getting dipped and you hate my um, humanity afterwards then you might want to watch what you are consuming watch the music that you are listening to as well before I get into the journal problems to help you out so you can stay in your highest vibration and magnetize your desires and everything towards you because the higher your frequency, the more you're going to align with things that are also in that same higher frequency. When you are vibrating on a lower frequency, you're going to magnetize lower vibrational people, circumstances and things. So how can we keep it high? Let's talk about it. First of all, let's talk about my online membership that will help you with that the spiritual butterfly monthly membership this is a monthly membership where you get over a hundred of my exclusive content that is not on any social media and this is to help you to stay in your highest vibration and have different videos on energy healing how to properly meditate laws of the universe and different spiritual topics to help you and guide you along your spiritual awakening journey and your journey of personal development this is also a great intimate membership because i keep the memberships kind of low meaning i don't let that many people in each month so that way we can keep it intimate because i do live once a month live um zoom sessions where you can ask any questions you want this is also a place where i can do readings for you guys as well it's the only place i'm going to do readings and most importantly you get a community with you you also get a beautiful community of like-minded people so if you want to start this journey and start really aligning with the purpose and your real true authentic self then go ahead and enroll in my spiritual butterfly mem monthly membership more information is going to be linked in the description below if you want to take a look to go look at that also i do have some online courses that can help you at this moment i have a online online numerology academy that if you're ever interested in learning numerology and bridging the gap between your purpose and where you are right now this course is going to help you with that this does come with two audio coachings with me as well as a once a month live zoom that i also do with the current students that are enrolled in the course this course is going to help you to magnetize your purpose towards you by knowing exactly your personality traits your particular stages in life i've read over I have helped hundreds of people by showing them their numerology chart and letting them know what particular stage they are in life and it, it's always been, always been very accurate and precise. So this is something I truly highly believe in because I've seen it for myself with each and every of my clients. It never fails. This is a tool that everyone should know. Plus knowing that you could also know how to help others around you and get unstuck so if you're interested in that that's going to be linked below as well okay now let's get into these journal prompts for you the first thing you guys want to do is self-reflection what are the primary sources of validation in your life how do i shift this and come from within you want to find out where do you seek validation from in your life is it from your your friends your spouse your kids do you seek the validation from others first 
And if you do, how can you start to shift that and give yourself the validation? The second thing is spiritual connection. How do I connect with my inner self or higher power? What practices can I adopt to deepen this connection? You want to ask yourself these questions. How can you connect more with your higher self? How can you be more aware of the God within you and connect with that more? Three, frequency awareness. What activities or thoughts lower your frequency? You want to ask yourself, what can I do to consistently raise my energy? If you notice activities that are lowering your frequency, what can you do to stay in a consistent energy raising mood? How can you raise your energy? There's a plane that's coming by right now. Hopefully you guys don't hear it. The fourth thing you want to do is happiness check. What activities can make you generally happy? How can I incorporate more of these into my daily routine? What makes you happy? Is it reading a book? Is it cooking? Is it cleaning? Is it just being outside in nature? What are the things that make you happy? What what is that? And how can you do more of that? Five, you want to see where you are on the emotional scale. Where do I typically find myself on emotional scale? What steps can I take to move upwards on this scale? Do you find yourself in anger and fear most of the time? Is that what your set point is? How can you move that higher? Ask yourself these questions. How can I make myself more happier to move up the scale of that ladder? And six is your environmental influences. Who or what in my life currently brings me down? What steps can I take to minimize these influences? Are there people that are in your life that are currently lowering your vibration? What can you do to spend less time with these people? Because the less time you spend with them, the more time you're in your own natural energy. And this is something you're going to have to look into to see what the story really is and how you can raise yourself out of this. Because you don't want to be dragged down. You want to pull people up. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure that you like and follow. And like I said, if you didn't see the Law of Correspondence video about learning how to cultivate what's going on inside of you and how to harness that so therefore what you see reflected on your outside world is pleasant and to your liking and that video is going to be linked right here so go ahead and watch that and i will see you guys in my next video ciao